Hello and welcome to the Weather Hazard Briefing presented by National Weather Service Pocatello for Monday, June 6th. Here's what you'll see in this presentation. There is still low pressure in the northeastern Pacific that is sending weak pressure troughs inland through the Pacific Northwest into the Gem State. Uh, and we'll do this for Monday and Tuesday. Uh, so for Monday today, actually the showers and thunderstorms from Sunday's uh, trough actually have continued this morning. We're still getting uh, isolated uh, thunderstorms and some showers, mostly in the northern and northeastern areas. Uh, that will continue uh, for Monday and Tuesday. Uh, however, its locations will be severely limited uh, today at, for the afternoon. It will be limited to the mountains, highlands, and areas uh, north of Blackfoot in the Snake River Plain. And then on Tuesday, it will be just limited to the Montana border region, everywhere from uh, all along Lemhi County's border through to um, the Fremont County border. Uh, we're also looking for breezy and windy conditions like we have had, uh, except that it's going to shift in its location. Uh, the past couple of days, it's been over the Arco Desert and uh, Craters of the Moon area. It's going to shift southward and be more in the Pocatello area over to Burley. Uh, Tuesday night, there will be a return to clear skies for most people, and this will continue th until at least Saturday. Uh, we look for temperatures to eventually, uh, especially by Wednesday, will soar above normal. And then by Saturday, we will be flirting with 90 degrees in the lower elevations of the Snake River Plain and Eastern Magic Valley. Uh, and the thunderstorms, if there are any, will be limited to the Island Park area, uh, mostly uh, between Island Park and the Montana border. And only on some of those days could there be some, and, and which days in particular there's a high degree of uncertainty. But even then, it's uh, limited to kind of a slight chance or isolated condition. So here's a satellite image. You can see the massive clouds we had overnight uh, are clearing out, moving to the north and east. Uh, you can see the blue, uh, the, the cloud shaded, uh, that light blue. That's actually fog and low clouds and stratus, so you can see kind of where that is. And there's not much behind it. This will sort of resurge in some uh, as the conditions go unstable in the afternoon, we'll see more showers and thunderstorms, once again, just in the highlands and in the central Idaho mountains and, in, and areas north of Idaho Falls or Blackfoot. Okay, so here's our weather risk outlook. You can see it's all pretty much front-loaded here on Monday. A lot of places with a slight chance of uh, showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms. I will say that in the eastern highlands, the showers are likely, and that's all day. And the slight chance of thunderstorms, it's still going on there. So there are thunderstorms even this morning in the eastern highlands. Uh, elsewhere, most of those thunderstorms are for the afternoon. Um, and you can see for the Sawtooth and South Hills, it's they're basically quiet right now. But we are looking for afternoon showers to be generated in those two locations. Elsewhere, uh, where the showers, whether it's slight chance or likely or chance, um, those are all going on even in the morning. All right, so here's our horizontal weather depiction. Uh, we will look first at today. You can see uh, the areas of the predominant shower activity very much limited. Uh, and here's the precipitation measurable amounts. You see everyone is below a tenth of an inch for today uh, with Island Park uh, sort of our sample king there at 0.07 inches. And then for tonight, an additional uh, four hundredths up there in the Island Park area. And most places, it's under five hundredths of an inch. Here's what the winds will be doing. You can see it has slid. And the winds are less. It's uh, 30 to 35 miles an hour for gusts. But it has slid down into uh, areas just east of Shoshone. And getting very close to Pocatello. Uh, just on the other side of the reservoir and in fact the reservoir should be good today in terms of boating we're not looking for any sort of lake wind advisory there uh, the high temperatures today uh, this will be probably the coolest uh, of the, the last three days and the coolest for the week as a warming trend develops for tomorrow so uh, lots of 60s in the area Okay, here's the outlook for Tuesday. You can see things are starting to lift, and the only place of any concern really is that northeast corner of our forecast area. And there it is, uh, just 0.02 inches expected 
uh, during the day on Tuesday and nothing on Tuesday night. And here's the total look for Monday and Tuesday. A total uh, precipitation accumulation, see Island Park, upwards of about 15 hundredths of an inch, Spencer, uh, 11 hundredths. And most other locations, though, are below a tenth, unless you get really into the backcountry in places uh, west of U.S. Route 93 in uh, Lumhai County and Custer County. Uh, here are the winds for Tuesday, the strongest winds. You can see the gusts are way down, 25 to 30 miles an hour over INL property. Uh, most places just barely getting uh, above 20. And here are the temperatures for Tuesday. You can see they've started to warm up again. And then here, finally here on day three, which will be uh, Wednesday, you see high pressure has moved overhead. Uh, all the showers and thunderstorm and heavy rain and snow has all moved to the east of us. And so all we have are just uh, warm temperatures. You can see how much they spike up. Pocatello looking at 81 degrees, Burley 82. Uh, even Idaho Falls is warming to 77. So that's up uh, 10 to 15 degrees, depending on your location. Even Stanley getting to 69 degrees. And here's uh, for a wildland firefighter interests. Here's the lowest precipitation over the next three days is on Wednesday as those temperatures warm. You can see still widespread it's all above 15% except for a very tiny part of Minidoka County right in here where it does get, looks like, to around 15%. So uh, afternoon humidity is still pretty high uh, for this time of year. That's all I have. If you have any further questions, you can always contact us at this telephone number here. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Or check out the weather yourself at weather.gov slash Pocatello. Thanks for watching.